Researchers at the University of Toledo have created an energy storage solution that actually helps batteries last longer and perform better. NBC 24's Caroline Cohen spoke with the researchers and she joins us live in the newsroom tonight. Caroline, this project has actually been in the work for quite some time. Yeah, for about three years, Dr. Mubenga and Dr. Stewart have been working to perfect the system. And the idea actually sparked from a childhood experience of Dr. Mubenga's. Dr. Sandrine Mubenga was just 17 when she lived in Kikwit in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Unfortunately, there was no fuel to start the power generator at the general hospital. When an illness left her close to death, she was determined to create a solution to the problem she faced. I would work so that I could find the solutions so that I could help provide electricity in places like Kikwit. Batteries operate in a series. Large lithium ion batteries have to have a circuit in their electronic circuit. It's called an equalizer. And they have to keep all these cells are connected in series. With a life expectancy of about 10 years, so as the cells age, their storage capacity uh, begins to decrease. Some have turned to passive equalizers, where the battery power is only as strong as the weakest link. With passive equalizer, the capacity of one of those big batteries is exactly equal to the weakest cell. To overcome that, you need a hybrid or active equalizers. But hardly anybody uses them because they're very expensive. So Dr. Mubenga and Dr. Thomas Stewart created the bi-level equalizer. It's the first type of hybrid equalizer. The bi-level equalizer balances cell voltage. We are taking the stack and grouping them into sections. Which allows them to last longer. For one section, we use an active equalizer unit. And by doing that, we really reduce the cost of the equalization and increase the performance. The next step is to build their equalizer onto an application like a hybrid vehicle. That's where they think they're moving with this and then of course eventually hospitals and bigger and better. They're going to test it in a field and then look for companies who want to manufacture the bi-level equalizer. Live in the newsroom, Caroline Cohen, NBC 24 News.